fancy seeing you here. Uh, so today, what I'm going to do is show you exactly how I make the world's literal best iced matcha latte. Uh, it's cold, it's frothy, it's a little bit sweet. As always, it's made with uh, really good ingredients, just like all of my recipes. Um, so why don't you guys just buckle in, keep on watching, and I promise it's not going to be too many steps. We don't need to be scared, so let's just get into it. All right, my dudes, it's spring. We made it there. Um, and because of that, I'm swapping out my hot beverages for uh, an iced version, which is why I wanted to come up with the perfect iced matcha latte. You best know that I romanticize literally every aspect of my life, which is why I love a good morning ritual. Taking a couple minutes in the morning to make myself a nice caffeinated beverage there's a few good reasons as to uh, as to why I do that. So, I mean, number one, I'm saving money. I'm not going to the cafe around the corner and giving them all my money. And to be honest, I always prefer my version of whatever beverage it is uh, anyway. And uh, second, it's going to be better for me. Um, I mean, I know all the ingredients that are going in. There's nothing weird. There's no, um, you know, weird almond milks or anything like that going in. I know exactly what's up. And uh, C, uh, you know, it's really all about the pride and the self-satisfaction and just the overall bragging rights. So without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly how I make the world's literal best iced matcha latte. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Jose. So uh, here are the ingredients that I use for uh, my very best iced matcha latte. Um, so first, you wanna start with some high quality matcha. This is the brand, um, I just buy it off of Amazon. Um, and I choose the organic brand. Um, to be honest, I don't really know a ton about matcha between culinary grade and ceremonial grade. I think it all tastes great. Um, but just invest in a, in a nice little pouch like this. This cost me, I think, uh, $12 and it honestly lasts me for a few months. Um, so grab yourself one of these guys. Uh, also, um, use really any type of milk. Right here I have coconut milk. Um, I just opened a jar and I, I like to keep it in a cute little milk jug like these. You're gonna sense a theme. Um, and then uh, I have just my sweetener here. So I have some organic honey. Uh, you can use agave, stevia, what have you. And then I like to add a little bit of cinnamon and the teensiest, teensiest dash of vanilla. So I just have some organic vanilla here. And that's really all that you need to make the perfect iced beverage. One thing I will say is be careful with how you dose yourself with the matcha if you're first getting into it. I was a little cocky, I'm a coffee drinker, so I thought, whatever, let's just take a spoonful, add it in, um, and let me tell you that I added too much and I was floating through space and time for a little bit. I didn't feel so hot. Um, so the serving size on the back of the package here says a half of a teaspoon. I'm gonna be honest with you, I only use about a quarter teaspoon. Um, it still gives me that nice little caffeinated, you know, je ne sais quoi, but um, it also helps this last a bit longer as well. So I mean, to each their own, I'm just saying, don't just go diving into the deep end, read the package. PSA over, uh, thank you so much. So obviously, like all of these ingredients are optional. Um, you don't have to add sweetener, you don't have to add any of this stuff. Um, but honestly, you know, if I didn't get a little fancy with it, then this would just be me adding matcha to water and pretending to be helpful in any shape or form. So um, yeah, you can definitely sub in anything you'd like, any type of milk, sweetener, what have you. Okay, cute. So now that I have all my things together, I'm going to go ahead and use my magic bullet to mix up all of the ingredients. Um, you can actually use really anything you'd like to mix this up. I sometimes use my adorable little whisk, matcha whisk. I take this on trips when um, I want to be able to make my lattes and things. 
uh, without obviously bringing a magic bullet with me. Um, so this works super well. You can even put everything together and just sort of shake it in a mason jar. The one thing I will say is don't try and just put a spoon in and mix it up. You're gonna get a weird powdery pockets that aren't fully mixed in. And that's just like no bueno. You don't want that. You went to all this effort. Just, you know, trust me on that. And finally, I'm gonna stop blabbing and put all this stuff together and show you what it looks like. super simple you have a beautiful iced matcha it's frothy it's sweet it's made with uh, amazing ingredients that you know are good for you and most importantly it's caffeinated okay okay that's why we're all here isn't it right to get a good a dose of caffeine in the morning um, or if you're like me the afternoon and sometimes you have a couple of these a day um, like today and uh, this is a judgment-free zone, okay? Yes, that's what I thought. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see any more healthy videos with like a little dose of sassafras in there, you know? Um, so I upload every single Sunday. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you on the flip side.